people who are meant to be the banner carriers of social justice and equality, the progressives, the left, the feminists, the human rights organizations, they are not only silent, they actively defend Sharia law as people's right to religion. We had a rally in front of Downing Street uh, last year, or whenever, two years ago. Al Muhajirun, which is this Islamic organization that wants Sharia law for Britain, they had a counter demonstration against us. Unite against fascism. Sounds good. They're against fascism. They march towards our rally. Who do they join? Who do they join? They join Al Muhajirun, they join the Islamists, and they come with slogans of Allahu Akbar. This is the anti fascist for you. You know, so. This is, in a sense, what happens is when people are not only staying silent, I wish they would just stay silent, you know, but they're actually proactively defending Islamism and Sharia law. You have humanist organizations in Britain saying Sharia law is religious freedom. Is it really? Is canon law religious freedom for the priests to evade accountability for their pedophilia. How come that's not religious freedom? But when it comes to Muslims and Muslim minority communities, suddenly a Sharia court is religious freedom. Religious freedom is for people, not for courts, not for states. Don't forget that. They're completely rewriting what it means to have religious freedom, what secularism means. Now suddenly we've got hundreds of versions of secularism. No, we've had one. You're trying to water it down because you want religion to bulldoze over us. Well, secularists need to stand firm and say there's a definition that says strict separation of religion from the state.